And so, covered by protective garments, these voyagers to and from the moon went into isolation. They will remain in this mobile quarantine facility while the Hornet steams to Pearl Harbor, from where they will be flown, quarantine station and all, to Houston. There they transfer to larger quarters before finally emerging in mid-August to the hero's welcome they so richly deserve. But even today, they heard cheers, and in a moment, you'll see their dramatic face-to-face -face meeting with President Nixon. President Nixon waving to the astronauts. The curtains have been drawn, and there they are in the rear, rear window. The president signaling for applause from the crowd. Astronauts gather in the window. Neil, Buzz, and Mike, I want you to know that I think I'm the luckiest man in the world. And I say this not only because I have the honor to be President of the United States, but particularly because I have the privilege of uh, speaking for so many and welcoming you back to Earth. Uh, I can tell you about all the messages we've received in Washington. Over 100 foreign governments Emperors and presidents and prime ministers and kings have sent the most warm messages that we've ever received. They represent over two billion people on this earth, all of them who have had the opportunity through television to see what you have done. And then I also bring you messages from members of the cabinet and members of the Senate and members of the House and the Space Agency from the streets of San Francisco, where people stopped me a few days ago, and you all love that city, I know, as I do. But most important, I had a telephone call yesterday. The toll wasn't, incidentally, as great as the one I made to you fellows on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I made that collect, incidentally, in case you didn't know. <laughs> but I called uh, three, uh, in my view, three of the greatest ladies and most courageous ladies in the whole world today your wives, and from Jan and Joan and Pat. I only hope that all of us in government, all of us in America, uh, that as a result of what you've done, we can do our job a little better. We can reach for the stars just as you have reached so far from the stars. 